Hello students. Today we are going to have the session on your subject which you think is pretty complicated. Subject is physics and we are going to talk to you on the areas which you feel difficult. Now the subject is not complex. Subject becomes complex when you don't have the right direction. So today there is a special guest with us, a subject expert who can give you the correct direction, Mr. B K Rai. He is a subject expert on physics. He is not only a subject expert, but he is also running a school called the Woodridge International School, and he also is a person who has been in this coaching for around a decade. Thirty years. Oh. For around three years now. Three decades. <laughs> three decades. So he is a person who is not only guiding students on subjects like physics and maths, but also he is a person who can guide you with how to crack your NEET exam, how to crack your engineering JE exam. So today we'd like to welcome Mr. Thank you very Rai, much. sir, who is going to guide us on Thank physics. Thank you very much, uh, sir. First of all, let's start with the first question, the simplest question that how can students deal with the problem, which is, you know, this one month to you know, solve this entire syllabus of physics in one month for the boards. Actually, like you rightly pointed out, if the subject is made complicated by, you know, being multidirectional, the problems will arise. If you focus in a planned way, if you make a planned approach, I think physics will become very easy and it is a subject which combines theoretical as well as mathematical knowledge together. So physics will become really very interesting. It actually can be a very interesting <coughs> subject because it also has an application. It's all application based subject actually. It's applied subject. Yes. You can say applied mathematics. It's, it's applied mathematics and there's a lot of things which they can know about their lenses, their lights. Oh, a lot. Their, everything is related to physics. It's, it's like everything is around them. Just about everything is physics. How, how, how do they feel it's difficult? Actually the problem is because the children uh, tend to think the physics is only numericals and no concept either or they think the physics is only concept and no numericals. Uh, if you don't look at uh, physics I mean uh, in one go and you break the problems in segments and you approach I believe physics will become very easy. One month time is enough to prepare for physics examination whether it's for 10 or 12. I'll quote his line kids one month time is enough enough actually for a subject like physics so sir how would you direct them actually uh, uh, what they should do is that they should take the concept chapter wise and they should analyze also how much marks are attributed to which chapter okay. you if you clearly see the marking scheme it is indicated as to which chapter carries uh, how much mark like suppose a student who is in class 12 uh, he can study optics for example carries maximum number of marks and there's certain things like the bus double set experiment, combination of lenses, now the telescope and the related topics. And once you start enjoying the topics, learn the concepts and apply them, I think it will become very easy. So you can segmentize the whole syllabus into parts and take one part at a time and master it, then go to the next and you will not know how quickly you finished actually. Okay, so, so they have to have the entire syllabus broken into the segments. Mm, segments. So what are the main three segments or four segments which they need to break up? I suggest they should be studying optics, optics. then um, electrodynamics, electrodynamics, electrostatics, electrostatics, and the modern physics. And the modern physics. So you have four sections which you need to focus on. Yes. So, so like, which is the first one to actually, start? actually, uh, the way I see it, if it's a class twelve student, mm -hmm. then optics carries maximum number of marks actually. Optics. Carries so maximum optics, maximum like the areas I pointed out. Mm -hmm. They can um, start with wave optics and they can work on application of Huygens principle which includes the statement and proving laws of reflection and refraction. Then they can go to the double set experiment, polarization. Basically these topics are all very little uh, mathematical application. Then they can go to modern physics which is equally uh, easy and then has lesser number of derivations. Then they can uh, come to electrostatics and finish the whole concept, electric field. The dipoles are basically important for them and then uh, they can come to capacitance that they have energy density and all those areas, application of Kachap's laws in current electricity. So there are areas actually what they can do is they can see the marks allocation chapter wise and then they can prepare. So what this is what I'll suggest. You suggest like uh, 
how can they find out that which has maximum allocations? Actually, uh, actually, it's all given chapter wise. Like I said, optics can be taken first. Okay. Then they can take modern physics. They can come to electrostatics, capacitance, current electricity. They can follow the sequence. Four, this, this is all in four. Order. Actually, if you see. Uh, right from electrostatics uh, up to the magnetism, the chapters are related because you have a concept of either static charges or moving charges with electric current. Now, when you come to uh, areas like optics and modern physics, these are more or less isolated areas. Optics almost has no electrostatics in these applications. So, they can uh, uh, start with the uh, optics, they can finish it, then they can uh, start from uh, electrostatics and go all the way up to magnetism and finish it. They can go to modern physics, they can relax a little bit, they can know about reactors. They can know about atoms and nuclei and they can enjoy the whole gamut of physics. I believe that will become very easy. So kids, it's pretty easy. Four sections you need to divide it. So you know the order how you can go about it. Yes. Now, next question which they always wanted to know from us was like, uh, what is that three things that mm -hmm. they should keep in mind while doing the physics in one month like some of them have that fear of you know solving math they think i'm not good in math so i'm not going to physics let, let me contact you here if it is uh, physics for class 12 then i will tell you it's not only numericals and the numericals which are coming in the boards are basically easy numericals so regarding the, i mean in this connection i will suggest the children should study the uh, the past, you know, papers. They can clearly understand what type of questions are coming. These questions are not very difficult, actually. So, would you like to suggest a book on, you know, there are several past papers available. So, I, I will not suggest a particular book. It's available in the market. They can take like past ten years, and they can they can just go through the question papers, scan chapter wise, and they can know what exactly the type of questions which are coming. Actually, what happens there is, you know, there are several uh, past papers, solved past papers which they get. No, no, no. This is not necessary. They, if they if they, so they should not look. No, the no. They, they should not look into the solution That's they can the they can always have an expert who can guide them but physics is very easy let me tell you it's not only numericals it's basically the derivations which are more important so they can master the derivations and then they can go for the numericals which have come and by studying the pattern of last uh, five to ten years they can know exactly what is coming so what is coming is not difficult i'll say you enjoy physics and don't bother so much about uh, uh, the numericals or the derivation basically a combination of all these so so here sir is saying that physics is enjoyable it's not difficult yes okay so enjoy the subject like i have always told you in my past videos also you need to love the subject welcome the subject and go for it not be scared of it don't be scared of it so this is the major points and now you know how to deal with physics right so you know which chapters to start with which sections to go with which has maximum markings and now you know that which areas have maximum marking by going through the past year's papers and follow the past year question patterns not the solutions and uh, i would like to exam. recommend a very important thing here i will tell the students not look at the whole book in one go like i said you segmentize break it down into parts and then you start doing, like you allocate one week for a particular, uh, uh, suppose, uh, unit. Okay. You break down the whole syllabus in four units. Uh, suppose you are having too many difficulties with current electricity, or maybe electrostatics, or maybe capacitance, or maybe alternating current circuits. So you take uh, uh, modern physics, which has got uh, very less application of these concepts, and finish it. Doesn't take more than a week's time, maybe four to five days if you study uh, rigorously, in a planned way. And uh, don't be scared that I'm going to face very difficult numerical. Numericals are very easy, let me tell you. You can get an expert who can guide you in all these uh, areas. And the numericals are basically very easy because remember always the paper is designed for an every student. It's not uh, designed for the students who are out of the ordinary. So you always have to have this thing in mind and always have a positive attitude, positive approach. And when you have the positive approach and then when you have a planned approach, I think the things will become much easier for you. That is a very good point laid out to you by sir, by sir, because he, here he is an expert himself. So here you can understand that if you can solve the problems in a technically way. Technical way. Technical. Actually, we call it in physics lab material. It's called profiling a problem. Okay. You profile a problem. Once you profile a problem, then you can change, you know, the data, and then any problem can be solved. So profiling the problem and understanding the concept behind it is very important, and you will enjoy physics like anything. So here we need to understand the profiling of any problem. Any problem. Much yes. So yes. We need to understand the profiling. Like profiling is like this. Every person has a profile. Every person has an identity. Similarly, every problem has an identity. When a person will read the problem by profiling it, you can understand what exactly is being given and what exactly you have to find out. And then uh, I'll tell you, when you're dealing with the problem, 
the first thing is to understand the problem. When you understand the problem, then you start searching what concepts to apply. If you're conceptually clear, you understand the problem, then it's uh, merely, you know, uh, an amalgamation of all these, uh, you know, techniques which I've learned. And then when you practice and profile, then you can easily solve the problem. So there's nothing in it actually. It so becomes easier. So you just need to understand the type of the problem, and then you need to mix and match the things that are asked for, and then you can easily solve the problem. So don't look at a problem as a problem. Rather look at it with a point of view of solution. Yes, yes. Finding a solution. Find a solution. Okay. And so be very positive. What are the three things which mm -hmm. you'd like to, uh, you know? end the show on actually the very first thing is uh, to have to be very positive about uh, your achievements i mean you be very positive i'm going to do it even if the wisest person and if you have a shaken confidence you can never do it so your confidence has to be very positive that's number one but again confidence has to be coupled with the hard work but any hard work will not do you can take a hammer a hammer a wall whole day you may not be able to break it so you have to make the third so the first thing is to be very positive Second thing is to make a determined approach. The third thing is to make a technical approach. A technical approach is you're mastering the topics, which I said, break the topic in segments and then study chapter wise. Don't conquer the whole book in one go, but conquer it chapter wise. Concept wise, it'll become easier for you. Perfect. So I think this is one of the best videos which students can actually refer to. And this is Thank the perfect much. solution which they have got for their one month to max their physics paper in. So students, we'll close here. Thank you. And thank you, sir. It All the best for the girls. A wonderful, you know, guideline and direction given to the students. All, all the best for the exams, I will say. And I will say you follow the three things, be very positive. You work rigorously and make a planned approach towards the problems which you're facing. And I'm sure it's going to become very easy and physics will be all yours and come out with flying colors. All the best. Thank you, sir. All the best kids.